Fine. I hope uh, she got the idea that why we are using packages and various names, right? So I am moving ahead. Next part is uh, that when I am done with uh, the uh, project creation and the package creation, next thing I, what I am going to do is I am going to uh, build the library, I am going to build the path. So for which I will be using, I will be using the, or I will be adding the external jar files to this project, okay. So the location of these are already available like this add jar files to Eclipse project in our training portal. So you can simply go and do this. So I am going to show you the same. And if you need to uh, download, for example, this is Selenium Java 2.37. So what you need to do is Selenium Java. Right? jar files. So here you can find all the jar, jar files, okay? I have a question here. Yeah. When you add a jar files, uh, is it like a separate we have to add jar files for each project or one, one time, right? One time adding a jar file and up, right? Um, uh, you have to see all the jar files. Yeah, you have to make sure the classes are there which you're using. If not, then... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the only point is, if I'm creating a project, I build the library of that project, so it is like importing all the books uh, in the same, in the, in the library, importing library, adding it, and then whatever uh, packages and then number of test cases, classes you keep creating, that will be keep running and you'll be able to use all those uh, external files, okay? Right now you have to add once, and if there's something missing, yeah, you, have to add add once, once. you have to add once in each of the project. Yeah. So you are required to add on project, not on the package or the test case. Yeah. Okay. I already created, I, I mean, I already added to these uh, four uh, projects what I created, but for another project. So I'm creating another project mm -hmm. underneath that. Um, so I added already jar files to one project. And do I have to add more jar files to this project? Are same ones or different ones? Well, let's do with one project first. Mm -hmm. Add the jar file, create some packages, classes. No, no, what I'm then, saying is I already added, right? So do I have to add again? That's no, if I you have added, then you don't have to. That's what my question yeah. If you if, if add it to the project, then you're fine. Not this current project, previous project, on the same Eclipse? Uh, I believe yeah. that. On each new project, do you have to import these uh, jar files? Yeah. If we want to use, I mean, for example, if we want, if I want to use the web driver and various uh, these libraries, then I'll be adding those. It is not recommended. For example, if if I be, uh, I mean, I'll uh, show you one test case of reading from database. Then I have to add one more uh, jar file for connectivity with the database. So it is just like, I mean, you as I told you that the library of Java is very rich. Well, I give that. I guess it's missing. You have to go and download and this and that. So. Yeah, so you can, I mean, there are a number of libraries available. You can simply download those libraries and add as the uh, jar file. So why, we, are, why uh, we add these jar files? So that we already have the, I mean, functionalities all as a inbuilt and we can use them as a inbuilt, inbuilt functions and the classes. Okay. Okay, so the, as I said, you know, there are some process you have to do mm -hmm. the package, project, package, import, and when you're able to run one or two, then you will see the same thing is pretty much with each one, right? Right, 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 right. That's why I'm showing that each, each, of, each with the, from the yeah. scratch, actually. So that's fine. Um, they try and partially understand, and when they will do, they will connect more. Yeah, and when they'll be actually working on Eclipse, that will give them some confidence and they'll be able to execute. I mean, mean they'll come to an online session where you can uh, do side by side. So you're mm -hmm. Eclipse and then we'll run one or two and then you go from there. Right, right. And I'll show some test cases as well. So they'll have some confidence and all the test cases, whatever we'll be testing today, everything is, uh, I mean, code-wise as well available at Winning Portal. So there won't be any issue for these guys. 
Yeah, the code you can always copy and try to run, and then later on you modify. Right now it's not justified. Okay, good. So keep... okay, so yeah, I am now going to properties. I mean, I am showing how to add the external jar files to a project. Okay, so for this you need to right click on the project. You click on properties, and then you click on this third location which is java i mean java build path okay third option java build path and then click on add external jars okay so java build path and click on second button which is add external jars so if you see one already available as mysql connector java it will be helpful when we will be testing the uh, i mean reading from database one so MySQL connector Java. What jar files will be added? Um. Sorry. What is the name of the file that you're adding? Yeah. Let let me let me show you one second. These are the various uh, files I'm using right now. Okay. It's on his machine, I believe. One second. Can we copy from the previous project and then move to here? No, no, I'm not copying. I was just checking the path of it because I have tons of jar files, external files of various cases. I was checking which one I have to add. work, then we'll make it uh, working. I think, yes, you can. I think so. Yeah, it just these things, you know, you have to a little bit try, and and uh, so the the basic concept is you should know how to bring bring the uh, install the Eclipse, bring up the Eclipse, import the jar file, create the package, run the thing. So that will be itself a one day activity, I can say. One day. And then the next day, uh, you have to start to. Yeah, at least with our help, I cannot say more than one day. With your own, it may take a year. I don't know. Maybe never. <laughs> with our, when we're showing, I don't think take more than one day. One day means a uh, few hours. See, uh, I'm showing the same steps. I mean, as I already downloaded, so it may, I mean, I, I think that it's creating some confusion. So what, I, what I'm doing uh, is I simply... Uh, we're not uh, trying to copy or learn any step, to be honest here. Uh, I think we need a separate uh, class for that. If you can show the things running and uh, mm -hmm. all the test cases, that'll be good. So they can understand okay, okay. conceptually. They should know there is an Eclipse kind of thing. They should know there is a package. They should know there is a different test cases. How to do it, I believe, is, is better they should do uh, with us, side by side. Sure. So this is, uh, I mean, I am, uh, I added all these files. OK, so these are the external files I already added. Fine. Yes, so we are not trying to do with you anyway. OK, OK. So this is uh, what I done. It was the I would say the uh, setting up the environment on which I can create the yeah, uh, examples, up, which take time to set up. Like yeah. So this was the setup, which is important. So this is done.